Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is the gas puzzle that was originally posted by Philip Newman on November 29th, 2024. This is a ratio pair Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, so we're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outline three by three region. And in addition, we have ratio pairs so these black dots indicate that the two digits on either side of the dot are in a one to two ratio in other words one of them is exactly twice as big as the other finally there are some gray circles in the grid digits in gray circles have to be odd and also um it's worth noting that not all of the possible black dots have been given so there might be other pairs of digits somewhere else in the grid that also have a one to two ratio that haven't necessarily been marked with a black dot so let's have a look. So we have a one on a black dot already. So the only number in a one to two ratio with one is two. And we have a three on a black dot here. So the only number in a one to two ratio with three is six. These two digits have to be odd. This cell though sees four of the five possible odd digits, one, three, five, and seven. So that has to be a nine. And then this has to be our remaining odd digit, which is either five or seven. Let's look at this black dot right here. So it can't be three and six and it can't have a two in it. So it can't be one and two and it can't be two and four. So the only other remaining option for a one to two ratio with Sudoku numbers is going to be four and eight. That leaves one and two for this pair. Now let's look down here. So we've used a seven and nine and this also sees a three and five. So the only remaining odd digit for that circle is one, which makes those both two. Now, if we were to do two and one here, we'd have a problem because then we'd have to put an additional one, an additional two over here. We'd have to go like two, one, two. So those aren't going to be able to be one. Those will have to be four, which makes these eight. This cell has to be three or five because it's odd and we've already used one, seven, nine in the region. Here, we can't use one or two. And we also can't make it a 4-8 pair because this cell can't be either 4 or 8. Therefore, this has to be a 3-6 pair in that order because there's a 3 already in column 7. Now right here, we can't have a 3-6 pair. So this is some combo of 1, 2, 4, and 8. But this cell here can't be 1 or 2. And this one can't be 4 or 8. So how do we still make that a pair in a ratio of 1 to 2? Well, the only way to do it is for that to be 2 and for that to be a 4. This pair here can't have a six in it and also can't have a one or a two. So this must be a four, eight pair, which goes in this order because of the eight in row five. And that means the last two cells in this column are three and six. Now, if we look at this column, we still need four, seven, and eight. This can't be four or eight, so that's a seven. And these two are my four and my eight. Now, I think we have at least pencil marked in all of the clue cells here. So let's go ahead and take a look at classic Sudoku. Okay, so I have a 4 and an 8 here, and the 8 resolves this into a 4 and an 8. I have two 4s looking vertically into the central region, and also this 4 here. So the only position for 4 in the central region is there. I have something similar going on with 8. So I have 8s here, 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 and here. And with four eights looking into the central region, there is only one position remaining where I can place an 8, and that is going to be right there. This region here, I need four more digits, so I need a one, a five, a six, and a nine. So if I pencil those in, we can see that six and nine already appear in this row, so that's a one, five pair, and that makes this a six, nine pair. So nine, therefore, can't be in any of these cells, so nine in this region must be there. And these are going to be four, seven, and eight. This row is nearly complete, so let's finish that off. I need 6, 8, and 9 there. That can't be an 8. That can't be a 6 or a 9 because of the 6, 9 pair here, so that's going to be a 6 or 9. But it already sees a 6 both here and here, so that's definitely not a 6. That's a 9, and that is a 6. In the remainder of this region, we need 1, 5, 7, and 9. These can't be 1s because we have a 1 right there. This can't be 7 or 9 because we have those two digits here. And this also can't be 9 because there is a 9 in the row. And I think that's just about all we can do right this moment, so we'll come back to that soon. 1 is definitely in one of these two cells, which rules 1 out of these cells and places a 1 here. 
So this is now going to be 7 and 8 to finish region 7, which means 7 can't be in these cells and makes this a 7. So to finish off our row, this is either 3, 5, or 6, and it can't be a 6 because there is definitely a 6 in one of these two cells here. Therefore, this is my only position for 6 in row 8, so I've got a 6 there and a 3 there. I have an 8 here, so that's a 4, not an 8, so that resolves that. And here I'm going to need a 2 and a 6. And I think, yep, the 3 there makes this a 5, and all of these pairs should resolve very neatly. Perfect, except for the vertically oriented ones, which we will come back to momentarily. Now, let's take a look at this column, because this is looking pretty resolved. We still need a 1, a 3, a 5, and a 6, and that can't be a 1, that can't be a 1, 3, or 6. That's my 5, and that gives me a 1. And I think that that's all I have that I can work with for the moment, but we will come back to that shortly. 9 sees all three of these cells in row 1, so my 9 has to go there. And these are going to be 1, 3, and 6, and that can't be 1 or 3, so that's a 6. And that's going to resolve that, which will bounce back and finish resolving the column. Now this 9 tells me which way around the 5, 9 pair goes. This can only be a... what is my remaining digit here? 5 in the column, that's my only remaining option. These three cells contain 2, 3, and 7. These can't be 7, so there's my 7, there's my 3, there's my 2. 6 that I placed earlier here makes this a 9 and makes this a 6. These are going to be 1 and 3 to finish off this row. This is a 2 to finish off row 4. And I need 5 and 9 in the last two remaining cells here. The 5 in row 2 makes that a 7. That's now a 4 and 7. My last digit here is an 8 which resolves my 7-8 pair. And now I'm going to need a 4 and a 5 to finish that region. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's The Ratio of the Past. I like that one. I like when Philip does these series of two or even more than two puzzles that kind of go back and revisit a theme from a previous puzzle. In this case, we've revisited his even consecutive pairs from a couple days ago with an odd ratio pairs puzzle um, that kind of has an echo of the visual theme of the previous one. I really enjoyed that. Hope you did as well. If you want to check it out yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video. I will see you in three days.